In this video, I will be solving May 2018 question 1, part A. Using a calculator or otherwise, evaluate each of the following, giving your answers to two decimal places. Part 1, 73.18 minus 5.23 multiplied by 9.34 for one mark. So, I'm going to type this expression into my calculator and press equal, and I'm getting here a value of 24. 0.3318. Now they ask me here to approximate this number to two decimal places. So I'm going to count after the decimal point here. One, two. And we're going to draw a line here. And look at the digit to the right. This is one. One is less than five. So we will truncate the remainder of this number here. So our answer is 24. 0.33 and this is the two decimal places. Part 2 3.1 squared divided by 6.17 plus 1.124 1 mark. So I'll type this expression into my calculator and I'll press equal here. I'm getting here a value of 2.6775 Four six seven. Now they ask me here to approximate this number to two decimal places, so I'm going to count after the decimal point here. One, two. We're going to draw a line here and look at the digit to the right. We could see here that this digit here is seven. Seven is five or more, so we will add one to seven here to make it eight. So our answer here is two point six eight to two decimal places. Part B. Jenny works at Sammy's restaurant and is paid according to the rates in the following table. Jenny's weekly wage agreement. Basic wage, $600 plus $0.9 for each customer served. In a week when Jenny serves N customers, her weekly wage, WJ in dollars, is given by the formula. WJ is equal to 600 plus 0 0.90N. Part 1. Determine Jenny's weekly wage if she served 230 customers for one month. Now the equation they gave us for Jenny's wage is called a wage function. So Jenny's wage function is WJ is equal to 600 plus 0 0.90N. Now Jenny served here 230 customers, so I can write here that N is equal to 230 customers. So WJ is equal to 600 plus 0 0.90 multiplied by 230. This is 600 plus 0 0.90 multiplied by 230 is 207. 600 plus 207 is 807 dollars. So therefore, Jenny's weekly wage when she served 230 customers is 807 dollars. Part 2. In a good week, Jenny's wage is 1000 dollars or more. What is the least number of customers that Jenny must serve in order to have a good week for two marks? So, I'll write here Jenny's wage function, WJ is equal to 600 plus 0 0.90N. Now, for Jenny to have a good week, we know that her wage must be greater than or equal to $1,000. So, it means that the least amount of money she needs to make to have a good week is $1,000. So I could write here 600 plus 0 0.90N and put this equal to 1000. And I'm going to solve here for N to find the least number of customers that she needs to serve to have a good week. So this is 0 0.90N is equal to 1000. Take the 600 across. This becomes negative. So 0.90N 
is equal to 1000 minus 600 is 400. We're going to divide both sides of the equation here by 0 0.90. 0 0.90. This cancels. N here is 444.44. Now, I want you to note carefully that you can't have a fraction of a customer. You must have a whole number. So even though this is less than 0.5, we need to round this up. So N here is 445 customers. Battery. At the same restaurant, Shona is paid a weekly wage of $270 plus $1.50 for each customer she serves. If WS is Shona's weekly wage in dollars, write a formula for calculating Shona's weekly wage when she serves M customers for one mark. So they gave us here $270 plus $1.50 for each customer she serves and they gave us here the letter M for the number of customers that Shona serves. So we could write her wage function here as WS is equal to 270 plus 1.50 M. Part 4. In a certain week, Jenny and Shona received the same wage for serving the same number of customers. How many customers did they each serve for 3 marks? So, I could write here that the wage of Jenny is equal to the wage of Shona. And I could substitute into this equation here their respective wage functions. So we could write here 600 plus 0.90n is equal to 270 plus 1.50m. Now, since they serve the same number of customers, I could write here when n is equal to m, I could substitute for m here n. So I could rewrite this equation as 600 plus 0 0.90 n is equal to 270 plus 1.50 n. I'll place all the numbers to the left and all the terms with n to the right. So this will be 600 minus 270, and this is 1.50n minus 0.90n. 600 minus 270 is 330. 1.50n minus 0.90n. This is 0.6n. Dividing both sides of the equation by 0 0.6. This cancels here. And N here is 550 customers.